If you don't remember the hyperbola equation, this video could be help you a lot. Gases in the kinetic theory. Let's remember a little about the kinetic theory of gases. The main points of the model are the particles in a gas move around randomly, the temperature of the gas is related to the average kinetic energy of the molecules. As the kinetic energy of the molecules increase, the temperature of the gas increases. Gas pressure. The molecules of a gas collide with each other as well as with the walls of their container. When they hit a wall, there is a force on the wall. Pressure is equal to the force on the wall divided by the area over which the force acts. The total force exerted by all the molecules inside the container that strike a unit area of the wall is the gas pressure. Two factors affect the force, enhance the pressure that the gas exerts on the box. The number of molecules that hit each side of the box in one second, the force with which a molecule collides with the wall. In 1662, Robert Boyle discovered that if the same number of particles at the same temperature are in a container, so decreasing the volume of a gas decreasing the container increases the pressure of the gas. This is why if the same number of particles, particles at the same temperature are in a smaller container, they hit the walls more frequently, increasing the pressure. At the same way, if the same number of particles at the same temperature are in a greater container, they hit the walls less frequently, decreasing the pressure. The more volume, the less pressure. The less volume, the more pressure. Pay attention. Boyle noticed that Having the volume of the gas causes the pressure to double. Now let's multiply the new pressure by the new volume. The new pressure times new volume is the same as the initial pressure times initial volume. Boyle noted that double the volume of the gas causes the pressure to have. Let's multiply the new pressure by the new volume. New pressure times new volume is the same as initial pressure times initial volume. Robert Boyle realized that if you took the new pressure multiplied by the new volume, that would be the same as the initial pressure multiplied by initial volume. This means that if you take a fixed mass of gas that has an initial pressure and an initial volume and change either the pressure or the volume, the new pressure multiplied by the new volume will be the same as initial pressure times initial volume if the temperature of the gas remains the same. We can write it in this way. The Boyle's law states that for a gas at a constant temperature, pressure times volume is also constant. The pressure exerted by a gas at constant temperature varies inversely with the volume of the gas. By plotting the recorded values of pressure against volume, a curve like this is produced. 
this graph is called a hyperbola. Let's see how it works. Example. The pressure of a gas is 1.2 times 10 to the power of 5 Pascal when its volume is 0.5 meters cubed. Its temperature is constant. Find its volume and the pressure change to 2.0 times 10 to the power of 5 Pascals. Take the values given in the question and substitute into the Boyle's law. Pay close attention in solving the following exercise, as they are similar to those you will find in your tests.